anything that doesn't work out, any show that I might not get, any any uh, show that I might do that doesn't turn out well and gets pulled off or something like that, I always think of as this is the way it was supposed to be. That's the way it was supposed to happen because there's something bigger down the road. There's something better down the road and, uh, and this is happening because I'm not ready or, you know, and it's always happened that way. I mean, the first time I ever went to Yuck Yucks when I was 15 years old, I went to Church Street, the old Yuck Yucks. It was two lanes of a bowling alley. And I went there and, uh, and I was not good. <laughs> I was all right. I mean, I was... You were 15. I was 15. I had a white polyester suit on my mom put on me. And I went down there with Dad and, and got up on stage. And, and uh, I was doing all right, really. But <laughs> the owner of the club got on the mic backstage and started going, totally boring, and all of a sudden it wasn't hip enough for them. So, uh, so I was pretty shattered. And I didn't go back for two years. And then my father said when I was 17, I started doing little shows here and there again. And he said, why don't you go back to Yuck Yucks? I said, no way. I don't want to go back there. And he said, well, you really, you know, you should get over it. I mean, if, you, if you're going to gonna go into the business and you, you want to do it seriously, you can't have those barriers, you know. And, and I went back and I did great and I w became a regular and a headliner and, and it built from there. And then when I went down to Los Angeles, the same thing happened. I went to the comedy store. I did all right, but not good enough to become a regular. And I became totally discouraged with the comedy store. I came back to Toronto like everybody who doesn't do well down there comes back going, oh, I hate Los Angeles. <laughs> it's such a crummy place. Oh, really? You can't raise kids there and all that stuff. And the uh, comedy store is a rat race. It's a rat race. <laughs> but then uh, two years later, again, my father, he says to me, well, you should try and get into the comedy store. And, and uh, my manager set up a uh, showcase there. I, I went in and I did well and became a regular there. And everything has happened from there since. It's just, it's been incredible. And it always goes in stages like that. So I, I accept the fact that I fail, you know, because I know that it's, that's the way it's supposed to be. If you want to see some fire from a young Les Brown, check the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. It's hard changing your life. It was hard when just over three years ago in the Penobscot building in Detroit, Michigan,